Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian at Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me, please consider liking and subscribing. We're Real Tech for Real People. Today is actually a new TV, new panel reveal. Um, always excited to do these reveals for you guys. This is a personal display. This is a personal purchase. I purchased from Robert and Wendy Zahn of Value Electronics. Thank you very much to both Robert and Wendy for their kindness and generosity. I had purchased my new panel from them. I will purchase all panels going forward. Please check the description below for information from their store. They're amazing people. You guys have seen them on the channel many, many times. The panel I bought today is going to be replacing the Sony 900E that is behind me. It is a 75-inch full array local dimming LED from 2017, I believe. One of my favorite displays of all time, but it is time for an upgrade. Many of you know that I'm replacing my LG CX at 77 inches. The panel today is not the replacement for that panel. We will determine at the end of the summer, once all my home uh, repairs are done, what panel will replace that one. That might be an 83 inch or an 86 inch or an 85 inch. That'll be a home theater TV. This is just a TV that'll be in my living room, which will have a new sound bar for my family. The 900E is awesome, one of my favorite TVs ever. We will do a love letter video to that one before I actually put this new TV up. Um, it's been a great panel, I absolutely love it. I will donate this panel to some local family near me as I do with all my displays once I'm done with them. Um, so right now the quick reveal is the Sony A80J at 77 inches. I'll do a separate video on why I chose the A80J, but in short, it's one of the panels that when I did a video on it at Robert's store, it was the panel that when I walked in caught my eye. Very similar to the A9G, out of the box, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very vibrant and is simply beautiful. The A90J Master Series is fantastic, but at 83 inches, it's extremely expensive. For me, pound for pound, the A80J is one of the best values out there. You get all of Sony's accuracy, all of their filmmaker's intent, as well as HDMI 2.1 gaming features to come, especially if you have a PlayStation 5. But for me to go from 75 inches to 77 inches, I know many of you don't think that's a huge size difference. It actually is. Um, you'll see them side by side. The A80J is just below the 77 inch um, 900E. It is just the box. But when I unbox it and put it on its stand, we'll leave it actually on the floor so you can actually see very close how close they are in terms of size. For me, 77 inch almost makes 75 inch look a little more square, especially LED versus OLED. But I am very pleased to welcome the 77 inch A80J. Again, very special thanks to Robert and Wendy Zahn. We're gonna unbox it. Now I'll remind you, or at least tell you, that I am terrible at unboxing uh, videos in general. I do them by myself. Uh, special thank you to my buddy Paul and his son Troy who drove me all the way to Value Electronics through all of the traffic, which is absolutely insane, especially in New York. So thank you to Paul and his son Troy. It was a very long ride. Um, we'll also be at Value Electronics Saturday to film the 83-inch A90J and the 83-inch C1 and 55-inch G1. Let's do the unboxing, which will be terrible. I will do my voice over that, and uh, we'll show a quick demo and a setup. All right, guys, here we are behind the microphone, having all kinds of issues with my microphone today, so I apologize for the sound. Here we are doing an unboxing. We are looking at the Sony 900E. You can see the size of the box. Actually, the box on the um, A80 is actually very thin, but the width of my hand um, panels, boxes have gotten a little smaller, a little slimmer. They're still packed very well, but for a panel at 77 inches, um, it's so much smaller than the box that actually the Sony came in or even panels from last year. We drove this on my buddy Paul's truck. There's my dog Hera. We're gonna open this from the top. What's interesting about these um, unboxings, I do them alone as I mentioned. Um, is actually lifting this box up and over. It almost hits the ceiling and the ceiling is nine feet high. 
You're going to see the legs here. They come fully assembled. The screws are actually inside them. There are three positions it can go in. You're not going to see me put the legs in. Um, I actually needed my buddy Kevin to come over and help me with that as I was trying to do it alone. But uh, Wendy and Robert, and there's my cat. Wendy and Robert at Value Electronics were just popping these in very quickly. They don't have to be screwed in, so they're just placed in. Um, on near, there's an, a flush setting. There's a sound bar setting. There's a wider setting. So. Now again, the screws are already in that. A lot like the X90J. The remote's very basic. Um, I believe the A90 is the only um, backlit remote, at least so far. You might see the Z9J with it kind of going just like that. They hook in. Now, I want to show you the packaging as when you're somebody taking TVs or borrowing TVs that are on loan to um, unpack them as I play with my cat here and actually repack them it's so difficult because they're shrink wrap now they're not the way they used to be where you could open them and the boxes don't clip anymore so you have that brush metal remote slim longer than the old 900e remote They're nice. They're very basic. The, you know, the formation of them, the lineup of the buttons and stuff are so similar. The colors are the same. Let's see the difference there. Back in the day, they had the thick, almost rubbery uh, feel to them, but not much going on with remotes. And the remotes will actually, you know, work on all Sony TVs to a degree, which makes these comparisons very difficult when I do compare them because one TV gets shut off, the other one gets shut off as well. I'm showing you the screws that are there inside. Now, when you do set this panel up, you're actually able to, they show you where if you take the side styrofoam out and you leave the center one, you should in theory be able to rock the display back and forth and put the feet in. Now, I was able to do that on the X90 because it's only 65 inches at 77. What ends up happening is the corner of the display will hit the floor. So my buddy Kevin, who you'll see in the video here was able to come over and help me wasn't able to film that as we were both doing it together as many OLEDs have I as I've seen over the years it always blows my mind how thin they are now what's funny is there is plastic bag that it's in but there isn't plastic on the screen other than the decals but the X90, which is a mid-tier display, was shrink-wrapped, basically. There was, you know, plastic all over it, which I think is so interesting. Showing you the back of the panel here. Now, what I'm showing you here is that it's very difficult to lift these panels. Um, you have to almost grab the groove where the power supply or on the other side where the HDMIs are to be able to lift the display. So when you have somebody help you who hasn't done this before, it's very hard to uh, tell them not to grip the panel. My buddy Kevin had come over. We have it on a stand. It's going to get blurry right here. I'm going to show you quickly the back. Now, it's not a Master Series, so it doesn't have... Um, that should... There it goes. It doesn't have the removable you know, pieces in the back to hide cables or anything. It's very basic. It has that Bravia back to it. I will tell you the panel. There's my boy Kevin right there. What's up, Kev? <laughs> the funny thing, my boy Kevin uh, couldn't understand why I was replacing the 900E. So it was really great about doing this video, shooting all this with Kevin in the room, was explaining the difference. And by the end of the video, he really understood what the difference was. He still loved the way the 900E looked, but he was he could see the difference. Um, here's the setup with the Sony. Um, it's tedious, actually. The setup on these TVs, um, the Google TVs, is it asks you for your Google. You then put in your Wi-Fi. It verifies. And then it to run, sign into Google again, it asks you for your Wi-Fi again. So it annoys me simply because I do this typically in store at Value Electronics when I'm signing in on a brand new TV to show you guys some demos. And signing in takes a year. So... Um, 
sorry for that blue uh that blurry aspect my camera's got an autofocus on because it took an update um i know the tv is on the floor you'll see it at the end of the video uh, compared to the 900e which is above it very hard to get two tvs this size into frame but i will tell you that the sound quality on the a80 um, even though it's not as good as the a90 is excellent i mean it's got a little bass to it it sounds fantastic it does the acoustic thing here there's all the Google, you know, stuff over and over and over. And then you'll see the sound acoustic setup. Now, I was doing this pretty late at night. It was a pretty long day. Like I said, my buddy Paul and his son Troy drove us up to Valley Electronics. Took us almost two hours um, and uh, almost two hours to come back. There's your acoustic auto calibration. It's very, very quick. But I'm telling you, the TV sounds fantastic. And the part that's a little bit frustrating um, is not really even being able to skip over the app process where it wants to download all your apps, which was taking a year. So I kind of exited out of that and then it kind of made the TV buggy a little bit because it kept trying to do it in the background. Typically, these setups should take two minutes tops, but these TVs are trying to do so much now. As I mentioned before, trying to bring these TVs when someone lends them to you, it's such a nerve wracking experience because you're trying to leave, uh, that's what I meant to say before, you're trying to leave the packaging intact and they just make it impossible now. Even the legs, uh, the feet for the stand is so wrapped that you can't you know, cut it a little bit and you can't tape it closed. It used to be where you could unseal it. It used to be where these boxes had those big clips that you can clip the box back together. So. So here I am now, this is where it's going to start asking me to, you know, load all the apps and everything. Log into YouTube again, which takes a year and then we'll start some demo material here. So we're going to start off first with LG Global. Now I'll tell you. The display is in standard out of the box. These are untouched settings. You'll see me in a demo in a few minutes, go back in. One of my favorite demos of all time. Love this demo. Out of the box, it is ridiculously accurate. It is a gorgeous image. Um, some people have said that the A80J was dull. I found it to be the exact opposite. I thought it was very, very vibrant when I saw it in store. And when I walked in, um, when you saw the video where I introduced this panel, when it launched at Value Electronics, I thought that they were looking at the A90. And the A90 was in the same room. Obviously, it's a little bit brighter, but it just looks so vibrant. And it's so unmistakably Sony. One of my favorite demos, again, this is LG Global. Very beautiful, very natural. So again, having my buddy Kevin there, as we're trying to explain the contrast ratio on the black level, um, and he was blown away because we did demos on the 900e as we were setting up and loved how the 900e looked and then when i have them compared he was off angle he saw the difference with leds then as he came back he saw the difference again and though still loves the way the 900e looked was shocked at how good now there's no blooming on oleds obviously the camera will kind of create that almost lens flare look that you're seeing with the camera I'll tie that down better when we shoot the other comparisons. So you'll see the A80J go against the LG CX from last year. You'll see it go against the X90J from this year. You'll see it go against the, um, what other TVs do I have around here? The other X90J, you know, again, the CX and whatever TV comes in next. You'll see gaming on it, PC, you'll see um, PS5, you'll see the Xbox Series X. And you'll also see it against the next TV that comes in, which will be one for the home theater downstairs. That will be at least 80 inches.
you know, again, very, very beautiful, very natural, and just such a Sony-like image. Now, I do my early thoughts review on this panel. I'll explain to you why I chose it. But I can tell you now, it's really more about the value. And considering this display won't be for gaming um, specifically, this is more for family, movies, streaming. Um, and its value to performance was an easy choice, actually. Love the C1, love the CX, love the G1, but being a Sony fan, you know, here we are now, you know, here I am showing Kevin next to me um, how you can mess around with the settings, make the image look more vivid. So obviously as I'm screwing with these settings here, I'm looking for a much more vivid, um, you know, almost cartoony look, I'm trying to show you the headroom. Now you can make things look as accurate as you like. But sometimes, you know, you like to go in and turn on some of these features like black adjust, live color, especially in HDR. You can choose between gradation or uh, peak brightness, dynamic tone mapping, or you can disable it. I like it enabled. Settings like that you might want to disable with older films, even 4K Blu-rays. The settings are very snappy when you use the remote. Initially setting up the display, it is a little buggy, it is a little slow. But once you get the TV up and running, uh, in and out of the settings is pretty quick. Now, I don't have the measurements on me, but the difference between 75 and 77 doesn't look like much until you have them literally side by side. Even here, having the 77 on a stand lower, the 75 almost looks the same size or bigger. But you have to think, you know, that same couple inches is around the entire panel height, width, and diagonally. You guys recognize a lot of these demos, they are punishing, but they are beautiful. Now the Sony 900E, again, we'll do a video separate on that as I say goodbye to it. It is one of my favorite displays of all time. The challenge is the way our TVs were mounted, they were up a little higher. This display will be mounted more chest level, and even this LED, the 900E, which is excellent, does exhibit more blooming, um, not to the sides, but below. And having OLEDs for a while now, um, I do get a little bit allergic to blooming. But it looks absolutely amazing. Got to find that teapot in real life. Again, that lens flare that you see is the camera. Not blooming. And in the next minute or so, you'll see the 900E kind of step in. And again, so important to note the perceived brightness of the OLED versus the nearly 1,000 nit 900E. Now keep in mind the 900E is 75 inches. I do believe that LEDs as they are larger are brighter than they are tested. So I do believe the 900E is at least a thousand nits. Was a bright TV for the time, was considered their mid-range display. The true successor to the 900E is your 950H, your 900F, there's Kevin pointing out some details. It's hard to tell how big the panels are on camera, and then we have the two of them together. Now you can see that when the 900E, there is that little bit of blooming to let the camera kind of normalize, but it is there.
Now, even for gaming, when you get into actually watching um, these demos or when you're playing a video game, when you walk into like a cave and having the entire black level be solid, it does create immersion where blooming will pull you out, especially in the heads up display where you know, you'll see blooming around a, a counter or your life bar. And OLEDs just don't have that. And, you know, you can deal with a little bit of loss of detail or you can have that better black level. And for me, over the years, I've learned, at least for myself, I've preferred the black level as it never pulls me out of the content. I'm going to walk around the room a little bit here. Now, I'm probably about 12 feet back just to get them in frame. You can see how nice the 900E still looks. Now at the end of the video, towards the end, what I'll do is I'll have them both in their standard picture mode. So they have the same color, which will be neutral right now. They're not the same color. And we'll do a thorough real comparison before I take the 900E down and replace it with the A80. It's interesting too at this size how they literally light up the entire room. Comparing even different technologies, some people don't like the comparisons, but I do think there's value to them. Um, but it's always interesting when you're checking out different technologies with the same manufacturer. So you have the same settings same color now here we're going to turn them both into neutral so they are the same show you closer to the 900e now there's going to be moments in this demo where you can see more sparkles on the 900e than you can for the a80 there will always be loss of detail or loss of shadow detail you can see it right there that there's a couple more of those little sparkles more visible on the 900e showing you that they're both in what you know what color space they're in they're both in neutral and they're both in standard live color is enabled on both of them though you are dealing with a new processor obviously on the cognitive processor for the a80 i hope you guys enjoy this reveal you'll see much more content from the a80 uh, the A90, the C1, the G1, the Z9J. We'll do a lot of that as my house finishes. I'll be available for more content. Thank you so much for your patience and your friendship. I hope you enjoy it again. The unboxings are not my thing. Obviously, I'm terrible at them. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And how large these displays, they just take over. This room is actually pretty big. And it all makes the room feel so small. I'll miss the 900E, definitely. It was a great TV. All right, guys. Thank you, as always. I hope everyone is doing well. Be safe. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Take care.